so dear students in this lecture we will discuss some numerical on uh, controllability and observability so the first example is uh, a system is given here right uh, it is a discrete time system which is given by the state space representation as shown here and in this uh, we have matrices f g and c so the matrices are given right so we have to check whether the given system is controllable or not okay so let us start with the solution of this particular numerical and let us investigate whether this system is controllable or not now to check the controllability now to check the controllability of a given system right so we have a controllability matrix u which is given by g and then we have f g and then f square g and up till f raised to the power n minus 1 g and this is uh, this is n by n matrix like means this is a square matrix where n is the order of uh, the system right it is the order of the system or you can say uh, it is the number of uh, states right okay so uh, in this particular example n is 2 right uh, because uh, f this matrix uh, if we want to know the value of n we can simply make out the value from the f matrix since this is a 2 by 2 matrix right and we all know that f is actually n by n state matrix right it is a state matrix so that means if it is a two by two matrix that means n is equal to two so there are various ways to know what is the order of the system so this is one of the ways right so uh, <laughs> it is a two by two matrix so here n is two so that means if n is two that means The controllability matrix u will be g and f g only so there will be two you know columns and two rows here so to get this matrix we need to know g we need to know f into g that is this is the product of matrix f and g right so this is the product of matrix f and g now uh, so let us find out uh, g we already know it is already given in the uh, statement of the question right so here g is already given which is one and one right now f and g so let us find out f and g so f is minus two one 1 minus 2 right and this is 1 and 1 right so let us find out this one 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 so it is minus 2 1 into 1 is so here this is 1 right and similarly 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 right so this will give me minus 1 and minus 1 so this is the matrix with me right so now what we have to do we have to substitute these two matrices in the controllability matrix which is g and fg so by substituting this we get to g is 1 1 and fg is minus 1 and minus 1 now to know whether the system is controllable or not we need to find out its determinant right the determinant of this is uh, and determinant is minus 1 plus 1. So it is equal to 0. So if 
the determinant is zero, then the given matrix U does not have a rank equal to N that is two. So if the rank is not N, that is the order of the system. In that case, we will say, hence the given system is not controllable. It is not controllable. We cannot, uh, so this is not control, uncontrollable system because its rank is not two. So because its determinant is zero. So to have the full rank or to have the rank equal to N, the determinant of the controllability matrix should be. So in this numerical, we have to investigate the controllability as well as observability. And the system is given here. Now let us start with the solution. First of all, we will compare this the given system with the standard state space model, right? And the standard state space model is xk plus 1 is equal to fxk plus guk and yk is equal to cxk plus d u k right so on comparing we get f is equal to minus one zero zero minus one right so f is this one g is this one and c is this one and d is zero it is not given right so f is this and g is zero one and c is one one and d is zero here right so um, the order of the system that is n is two because f this is a two by two matrix it is a two by two matrix and because it is a two by two matrix so we can say that n is two here right now let us check the controllability first. So first is controllability test, right? So as far as controllability test is concerned, because n is two, hence the controllability matrix U will be G and F G, right? So G is given, which is uh, zero and one and F G is obtained. It will be determined by multiplying F and G, the two matrices and G is zero and one. F is minus one, one, zero, minus one, right? So on multiplying this, so we get zero into minus one is zero and one into this is one. Similarly, zero into zero is zero and one into minus one is minus one. So this will be equal to one and minus one, right? So the U, the controllability matrix will be written as G, G is zero and one and F, G is one and minus one. So let us find out its determinant. So determinant here will be zero and minus one, right? Which is not equal to zero, right? Uh, you The determinant is equal to minus one, which is not equal to zero. So hence we can say, hence U has full rank that is rank of u is n that is two okay 
so it means that what does it mean it means that the given state space model is controllable right so now let us check its observability the, the second test is observability test test right so to have the observability test we have an observability matrix v which is given by c c f c f square and c f n minus 1 like this uh, now since n is 2 so we have v is equal to c and c f and c is already given which is 1 and 1 c f we have to find out by multiplying matrix c with matrix f matrix f is minus one one zero minus one right so let us uh, have this minus one into one is minus one zero into one is uh, zero similarly one into one is one and minus one into one is minus one right so cf matrix will be minus one and zero right so now let us substitute this and this these two matrices into v matrix here right so v will be equal to uh, one and one minus one and zero right so uh, to know whether this matrix has full rank or not, we need to find out its determinant. If it is non-zero, we'll say that yes, it has full rank. So determinant is 1 into 0 is 0, minus 1 into 1 is uh, plus 1, right? So the determinant of V is 1, which is not equal to 0. Hence, rank of V is N, that is two right because the order of the system is two and is two right uh, so we can say the given system is or given state space model is observable it is observable so how did we find out uh, the controllability and observability? Uh, we found the controllability and observability by simply, uh, you know, obtaining the controllability matrix and observability matrix and then finding their determinant. If the determinant of controllability matrix and observability matrix is non-zero, we will say that uh, the given system is controllable and observable. If uh, the controllability matrix is the determinant of controllability matrix is zero as it was in the case one, the example one. So in that case, we have mentioned that it is not controllable. Similarly, if the observability matrix has determinant equal to zero, we will say that the given system is not observable. So this is how we find out the controllability and observability of a given system. So this is all about today's lecture. Thank you so much.